For part bi, the pH we want to reach is within plus or minus one of the pKa. Because the pH is within this buffer region, we know that all the H plus will react. We can use we can then use Henderson Hasselbalch method in a reverse manner in order to find out how many numbers what the value of x is. When using the ratio of A minus H A, use x to Use x to represent the number of moles of H+. For A-, minus, you'll subtract x because A- minus and H+, plus will form HA, as you see in this equation. For HA, you'll add x because the added H+, plus will react with A- minus to create the HA. So again, we're going to use the equation the pH is equal to the pK plus the log of A- minus over HA. And again, we have, and the pH that we're trying to get in this problem is 4.600, and so again, we can use the opposite log of the Ka and which would be 4.745. And for the concentration of A minus, we can put in 0 0.200 minus X, which we get from the rice table shown here. And for the concentration of HA, we get 0 0.180 plus X, which is what we get here. And then if you solve through the problem, you find out that you, the value of X is going to equal 0 0.041 moles of H plus that will be needed per the one liter of solution. Right, so for problem BII, the pH we want to try to uh, find is 0 0.900, which is significantly less than the plus or minus 1 from the pKa. So we know that that means that all of the uh, conjugate base is used up by the added H+. Plus. So then when we do 10 raised to the negative 0 0.900, which was the pH we wanted to find, we get the concentration of H plus that needs to be left at the end is 0.126 molar. And then if we put that in at the end of the rice table, put in X for the initial mole of H, and then subtract the 0.2 mole of the acetate that's used up in the reaction, we get this equation, which we can just solve with algebra to find that the concentration of H plus in it is 0.326 molar, and because it's in one liter of solution, we can just kind of use molar as the same thing as moles.